Salutations gang, it's your old power revenge creature and welcome to a quick unboxing. Uh, this is a Wednesday uh, and uh, looky what I found. Well actually I had help. Uh, Kevin and Michael, uh, re one recon, one security and uh, were able to finally add these two to the archive today. Um, Beachhead and the Cobra Trooper. Now if you're not aware of the controversy and you're just watching this video out of curiosity. Um, these were Target exclusives. They were announced a while, about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, and there was um, they were available online for pre-orders. And the pre-orders sold out like instantly. And nobody could figure out what happened. And then there was like a theory that basically they were bots, uh, sniper bots that basically went in and pinged the website until they were available and then bought them all up. Well... Their official web, their excuse me, their official uh, Hasbro's official GI Joe related Twitter page uh, said, "Well, guess what? We're going to go ahead and release these. They were going to come out August 14th. They moved it up to August 1st because people were finding these, and uh, some people were bugging managers. Some people weren't. You know, um, some managers were cool about it. Some weren't. Some stores they were uh, system locked, so you couldn't sell them to August 14th. Well." That's no longer the case. So uh, we have Beach Heavy of the Cobra Trooper. Let's go ahead and crack these open. Uh, here's a real quick look at the back of the box. Uh, this is Cobra Island, and each box has like a different location. Uh, looks like some kind of communications array and maybe a research facility. Then we have the airfield and some kind of bridge maybe. Uh, those are targets. Uh, so that's cool. Cool artwork. Um, you know, on the side here, here's Beachhead's artwork. Here's the Cobra Trooper, which that kind of looks like a zombie. Uh, Jeff said that today when we were at work, so that's funny. And then there's some more down there. This side is just, whoops, this side is just those badges. And they're number, number 10, number 12. Uh, also in this series, there is a roadblock, another roadblock, but he looks more like heavy duty or something. His, he totally does not look like roadblock. And then also a Baroness with a motorcycle. Um, none of those were available today at our target, uh, but we're going to keep looking because I have to have that Baroness. And I actually want two. I'd like to have four of these, but two is fine. I'm not going to get greedy. I saw some guy today post on Facebook where he had, I think, 12 or so. Uh, he had a ton on a on a conveyor belt. So anyway, uh, there's probably going to be plenty of them out there. We just got to be patient. So let's go ahead and have a look at them. Okay, so here's Beachhead out of the package, um, and looking quite stylish, uh, very close to the original uh, version of the figure. Uh, he comes with this gun, which is basically a repainted Nerf gun. Um, and well not repainted but it's it's there is a nerf gun that's this exact design um and he's got a pistol that goes there he's got a knife um he's got this beret which um you know i guess um it may be reflective of you know the, his uh military uh experience or whatever but like he never had one that i knew you know i've never seen him unless it was in idw or something i don't know or maybe that's just something new for this character uh in this new incarnation uh so anywho um he's got uh you know his head's on a swivel as well as a ball joint so he can really good articulation there you got um articulation at the wrist a swivel a nod and a double joint elbow a ball joint bicep butterfly uh, biceps that can bring his arms in you know there's a there's a mid waist there's joints here there's a swivel here joint 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 i mean this guy's got more joints than a grateful dead concert <laughs> am i right anyway uh so anyway there you go that's a really cool figure uh, he's got his backpack whoa i was gonna say he does not want to stand up with this backpack though and there's his crossbow and it detaches and the backpack can come off as well um and then this is the back of his uh what comes in the box there uh, looks like uh, Cobra Island, uh, you know, as part, you know, because it's Cobra Island is the, uh, yeah, it's like you can see the image of the island, and then there's a white, I guess, uh, logo of some kind, and that's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and look at the one that everybody wants to see, including me, which is the Cobra Trooper. Pretty excited for this bad boy. Okay, here is the Cobra Trooper. Um, and he is just exactly what you'd want. Uh, a guy in a blue uniform with a mask over his face and a cobra symbol. Nothing too flashy. 
Um, same amazing articulation. Uh, he comes with uh, the knife. He's got uh, this gun here. It's kind of a machine gun looking thing. A big sniper rifle. Uh, he's got a uh, armband so you can make him an officer. You can slide that on there, make him a Cobra officer. Uh, he's got these goggles that can go either over his over his eyes or over the helmet. Uh, and then he's got these two pistols. Um, so give him kind of a John Woo vibe. Um, the figure is just great. Uh, I, he's not... It's hard to get excited about something that looks kind of plain, but that's what I love about it. They didn't overdo it. They didn't try to over-stylize him in any way. Um, oh, my goodness. So he's got a... This pistol can go in that holster. I didn't even realize it. Well, that's cool. Uh, let's take a quick look at his artwork, which is the freaking Terradrome, which is amazing. You get the fire bat, and you got two uh, hydrofoils coming out either side. Um, so that's that's just that is really really cool. Um, so I'm going to uh, leave it at that. Uh, I know this wasn't a very exciting video, but uh, you know these figures speak for themselves. I don't really have to do a lot of flashy stuff. Um, there they are, guys. Go out and get them. They're out there. Uh, I'll see you again when I get the Baroness. Um, on a side note, I was able to score the uh, Decepticon clone two-pack that's also a Target exclusive. And the got the Seekers also, the Skywarp and Thundercracker. So that's kind of a, kind of a cool addition there. So those are some new boys. Before I shut it off, I decided I would go ahead and show you guys with a little more light uh, the trooper uh, so you can see the colors and everything. And also I discovered that the one pistol, whoa, that's shaky. <laughs> one pistol uh, plugs in there and then the other one plugs in on his back like I showed you. Uh, really, really cool figure. Uh, can't wait. Hopefully can find uh, two or three more of them. All right, guys, so there you go. There's, oh, looks like Destro. The little Destro tried to fall over. Stand up, son. Your dad looked, you know. Okay, so there you go. And then here's everybody over here standing together. Well, obviously Spock and, you know, they aren't uh, part of the Joes. But there's the current Joe team. Um, and here's all my Cobras so far. Well, this little Destro doesn't count, but anyway. All right, well, thanks for watching. I'm your old Power Revenge creature, and as always, please don't forget those famous one word that I say, Asquinoxo.